Welcome to the webinar for building MISMO-based mortgage insurance integrations. Presented by MISMO, the Mortgage Industry Standards Maintenance Organization, and all MISMO participating mortgage insurance companies. I'm Will Vickers with ArchMI. And I'm Leslie Malicki from MGIC. Our goal is to provide basic introductory information so that you are prepared to have next step discussions with your MI partners. In this course, we'll review which MI origination related transactions are supported by MISMO, typical MI origination related workflows, typical MI request and response flows, the high level inputs and outputs for these transactions, and a few tips and tricks for using the MISMO iGUIDE. Participants who complete this webinar will be awarded one education point that can be used to earn the Certified MISMO Standards Professional designation. For more information on the CMSP designation and a complete list of upcoming educational offerings, check out www.mismo.org or send an email to info at mismo.org. Okay, let's get started. In this course, we will focus on MISMO-based MI origination transactions. These transactions include the MI rate quote and MI order. MI companies do support multiple MISMO formats, typically version 2.3.1 for MI and version 3.x. Check with your MI trading partner to verify the specific version of MISMO they support and or prefer. Please note that as MISMO versions evolve, so will MI partners support. There are several benefits for adopting MISMO standards for MI origination connectivity. First, MISMO is supported by all MI companies, so your integration code is reusable. MISMO is also dependable and has been widely used for MI origination since the early 2000s. Last but not least, MISMO standards are dynamic and have been adjusted to accommodate all required industry changes as our industry evolves. The rate quote and MI order transactions support different phases of the loan manufacturing cycle. MI rate quote information can be beneficial early in the home buying process, starting with consumer research. New point of sale or POS systems are shifting the buying process earlier in the decision cycle, requiring consumers to be aware of their price options with a good degree of accuracy. As the loan origination process begins, Product and pricing engines and loan origination systems provide access to MI rate quotes, ensuring MI pricing accuracy. The MI order is typically placed during the loan processing or underwriting phases. For the most accurate MI price and guideline decision, the MI company must have the most accurate and up-to-date loan data. Now we're going to explore MI origination workflows in detail. For MI rate quotes, there are several options available depending on which MISMO standard you plan to implement. A single MI product quote is supported in both the 2.3.1 and 3.x MISMO formats. Quotes can either be detailed or estimated, detailed quotes requiring more data. Quoting in MISMO 3.x allows for the ordering of multi-product quotes, which returns multiple MI products and prices for one loan scenario. For MI orders, both MISMO formats support needs equally. There are, however, two different types of MI orders to know about. They are a delegated MI order that requires only an exchange of data to complete the transaction, and a non-delegated MI order that requires delivery of both data and a defined set of loan documentation. Now let's review the typical request response flows for rate quotes, starting with a single quote request. The workflow begins with the user submitting loan and MI coverage data. The trading partner transmits the MI rate quote request file to the MI company. MI rate quotes are synchronous transactions, so the trading partner connects to the MI company system and hold the connection until the MI company responds with the MI rate quote response file, which includes MI rate data, a rate quote ID, and a rate quote PDF. Note that the PDF may be an actual document or a link that renders a document when opened in a browser. The request response flow for a multi-product MI quote is identical to the single quote flow. 
The workflow begins with the user submitting loan and MI coverage data. The trading partner transmits the MI multi-product rate quote request file to the MI company. Again, the MI rate quote transaction is synchronous, so the trading partner connects to the MI company systems and holds the connection until the MI company responds with the MI rate quote response file. This response includes multiple MI quote products, each with a rate quote ID and rate quote PDF. Again, note that the PDF may be an actual document or a link that renders a document when opened in a browser. Here are notes to remember about MISMO-based MI rate quotes. Rate quotes are typically synchronous transactions. Rate quote result data includes MI premium with tax data where applicable, a rate quote ID, and a rate quote PDF or link. Multi-product requests return a set of data for each MI product. Remember to check with your MI partner to determine if actual PDF files or links are returned. A multi-product MI quote typically requires the MISMO 3.x format, but some MI partners may offer alternate approaches. All MI rate quotes have expiration dates, but the actual duration may vary by MI provider. Most trading partner systems retain a history of rate quote result data for user reference. Now let's review the typical request response flows for ordering delegated mortgage insurance. The workflow begins with the user submitting loan and MI coverage data. The trading partner transmits the delegated MI request file to the MI company. Delegated MI orders are typically a synchronous transaction, so the trading partner connects to the MI company system and holds the connection until the MI company responds with the delegated MI order response file, which includes the delegated MI decision, MI certificate ID, MI commitment certificate document, and MI premium with tax data where applicable. Here are notes to remember about delegated mortgage insurance orders. Delegated orders are typically synchronous transactions with the response occurring within seconds of delivery. The delegated MI order response includes the delegated MI decision, MI certificate ID, MI commitment certificate document, and MI premium with tax data where applicable. All MI companies support resubmission of delegated MI orders, but note that the MI certificate ID number is required for resubmission. Finally, most trading partner systems retain only the most current MI order result to ensure accuracy of system of record data. Now let's review the typical request response flow for ordering non-delegated mortgage insurance. Non-delegated MI orders generally require a three-step process, submission of MI order data, submission of loan documents, and retrieval of the non-delegated order response. The overall workflow is a combination of both synchronous and asynchronous processes. The workflow begins with the user submitting loan and MI coverage data. The trading partner transmits the non-delegated MI request file to the MI company. The initial step for non-delegated MI orders is typically a synchronous transaction, so the trading partner connects to the MI company's systems, holds the connection open until the MI company responds with a status of suspended or pending review and a reference MI certificate ID. Submission of loan documents is a relatively simple process. The user selects the required documents from their LOS or document management system. The trading partner then transmits the documents via SFTP or embedded in the original non-delegated MI request file. Discuss this step with your MI partner to determine their preferred method of receiving documents. The MI company acknowledges the receipt of documents and the overall status remains at suspended or pending review. Now that both data and documents have been delivered, the MI company begins to render a non-delegated underwriting decision. During the MI underwriting process, the order status remains the same. After allowing time for the MI underwrite to be completed, the next workflow step is to retrieve the MI response. There are two response retrieval options, automatic postback and MI query. An automatic postback flows like this. The MI company pushes the non-delegated MI response file to the trading partner's postback server. Then 
The trading partner system notifies the user that a response has been received. The alternative method of retrieving the MI response is MI query, and it flows like this. The user requests the underwriting status. The trading partner system sends the MI query transaction to the MI company, and since this is a synchronous exchange of data, they hold the connection until the MI company responds with the non-delegated MI response file. If the non-delegated MI order is approved, both the automatic postback and the MI query retrieval methods will return the non-delegated MI decision, MI certificate ID, MI commitment certificate document, and MI premium with tax data where applicable. Since the non-delegated order process is more complex, here's a summary of what you should remember about non-delegated mortgage insurance orders. First, Non-delegated MI orders are typically a combination of both synchronous and asynchronous workflows. Note that round-trip testing of non-delegated orders will require coordination with your MI partner so that a response can be manually generated. Input includes loan data, MI coverage details, and loan documentation, while order output includes the result of the MI underwrite, the MI certificate ID number, a commitment certificate document, and MI premium with tax data where applicable. Non-delegated MI orders may typically be resubmitted. However, each resubmission should include the MI certificate ID number provided by the MI partner during the initial order. Now that we've discussed some of the details, Let's look at the MISMO iGUIDE, which is your primary reference source for building a new integration for MI rate quotes and MI orders. You can obtain a copy of the iGUIDE for mortgage insurance from your MI partner or through MISMO.org. Here are a few best practice tips. Start with the How to Use the iGUIDE and FAQ tabs in the iGUIDE before jumping into the details. All the additional tabs are helpful as you move further into your development efforts. Use the Excel filter function in the desired transaction column to isolate required, conditionally required, and optional data elements. MI rate quote transactions require less data than MI orders, so start with the rate quote and work your way up. We've just covered the origination-related MI transactions supported by MISMO standards. But most MI companies typically support additional electronic trading capabilities using legacy MBA file formats for other parts of the mortgage lifecycle. Contact your MI partner if you're interested in learning more about building integrations to support MI closing, MI servicing, or MI default servicing capabilities. So now that you've been grounded and have become expert at what it takes to build an MI origination integration, here's what's next. Contact your MI partners to schedule a kickoff call. And during that call, plan to confirm your understanding of the iGUIDE content, answer questions about business process flows, discuss best practices and implementation preferences, coordinate your development calendars, and learn about each MI partner's testing and certification procedures. On behalf of all mortgage insurance participants in MISMO, you're invited to contact all of us individually to discuss your specific integration needs and next steps. A copy of this presentation, along with these contact names and numbers, will be made available to all attendees. I'm Will Vickers. Thanks for attending. And I'm Leslie Malicki. We look forward to working with you.